we're going to be installing some pins, um, so your eastern pins and eastern points, so just your normal points. Into eastern, these happen to be carbon one shafts, but um, it works the same for nearly everything I do in the shop. If it's different, um, it'll actually tell you on the packaging. Um, so for carbon ones, ACEs, ACCs, um, power flights, pretty much across the board what I'm doing is is what I do for everything. Um, pretty much with everything, everyone has to learn something somewhere. Um, I tried loads of different things to get to this point and then at a World Championships in 2007 I went, to, went and visited the Eastern Tent and had a chat to a guy called Jeff McNeil, probably someone who helped me out heaps um, when I was starting off into the sport. So Jeff, if you ever see this, thanks for everything you did. Um, and I asked him how to install pins and points. So yes, I was at a world championship, but what I was doing is actually checking what I was doing was right. So what we're doing here is what he taught me and what I've used as gospel ever since. So as I always say, this is how I do it. Um, someone else might do it different, but this is just how I do it, okay? So. Should be able to get these pretty simply. I got this from Bunnings. It's really hot. So you can turn it down a fair way. Now some golden rules in the shop. If this is on, the acetone, we're not going to talk about acetone today, but there might be acetone in the shop or your workplace. Make sure the lid is on and it's a long way away. You don't want to start a fire. So it's a good way to just ensure Acetone lid always goes back on. I like these. Yes, they are an Eastern product, but as you've seen in my other videos, I will tell you what's best, not just what I actually sell. So these Eastern D-loop pliers are really good for doing what we're doing now. So installing pins. So at the top, it's got a nice bit, a nice flat bit that can grab the top of the pin because you do not want to get any glue on your pliers it makes it really hard to work with i should have had a new one of these but um, this is just your eastern hot melt glue you can buy a foot for i don't know eight or nine aussie dollars so maybe what that's that about six us five six us and most people it will last you the term of your natural life so what i do is i heat up the pin to a point where it melts just melts the uh, Hot melt, no sizzle. Quickly just dive it back through and then just push it straight into the end of the shaft, twisting as I go. It's pretty hard to see, but there should be a little ring at the top hanging out. Alright, so that I can show you pins and points, what I would normally do is I would do all of my pins now. Okay? But, for ease, I'm going to show you how to do a point, because just remember this isn't telling you how to grain out your arrows, we'll do that on another video. This is just installation. So you'll notice that I did use glue for pins, but I only put it into the shaft once. It only needs to go in once. Points are different. I like my pliers to be perfectly clean. If you have a bit of um, hot melt glue stuck to it, it's just disgusting. Make sure your pliers are clean. So you're grabbing the point in the part that's actually designed for primping, not points. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna heat this up. Tungsten will heat up a lot faster. So I heat it up enough for it to melt my hot melt. Dob it through just a quick couple of and then I just push it down into the shaft and I pull it straight out. All I'm doing is cleaning the internals of the shaft. Then you do it again, making sure that when your glue touches the point, it doesn't sizzle. If it sizzles, it's too hot, okay? Just put that point down and, and start again. 
as you're installing the point, twist all the way in and then you can stop. That goes down. So we'll go through it one or two more times. So we're doing a pin this time again. You're grabbing the top of the pin in the flat part. So I'm just reiterating what I did before. Into the flame. Onto the glue. Now you're making sure that it's just melted enough. Now, I don't know if you can get this, Rachel, but can you see in Eastern, the best part about this is Eastern, the N is for knock. That is your knock end, okay? Just straight in. I probably talked for too long and it's gone a bit hard. So let's pull it out. Glue. So I try to just go in and straight in. Straight in and twist as you do it. So the pin for the knock is the same end as the end for Eastern. So if you're cutting Eastern, knock end makes it really easy. Point. Holding it in the bit for the crimping tool for your brass knocking points. Not that I hope anyone's really using those for anything anymore. You're heating it up to the point where the glue melts it but doesn't sizzle. Straight in, straight out, heat it up again. Heat up your glue and start again straight in, you're twisting all the way in. So make sure you turn that off properly. Um, what normally happens, um, so this isn't your norm, I would have installed everything. Uh, so all of my pins would have gone in. I would not have put points in at this stage. Normally what I'll do is pins go in, then not, um, fletching goes on, and the last thing I'll do is put my points in. Now what happens is, once you've done about three of these and you're on your fourth one, when you put your fourth one down, I found that it's about time <coughs> that you can pick that little bit of glue off. If you leave it anymore, it sets really hard. And if you try and pick it too early, it'll be too hot. And um, burn your fingers. So, because I've been talking so much, I've done it fairly slow and you can just pick it off. All right, comes off really nice. Um, <coughs> sorry about the cough. Um, I've heard people push pins in without glue. Oh, I, it's never worked for me. I don't think you need, I've heard people using um, glad wrap. Uh, I don't understand that either, it's just too random. Just use your hot melt glue, Eastern hot melt glue, it's cheap as chips. Um, like I said, about six US bucks. Any sort of pliers, your knocking point pliers are good because they can hold around the end here, the bulge part, nicely. Clip on, see? Keeping any glue off. And then just to reiterate, your pin grabs there. Is that slow enough, Rich? Because the worst thing you can do is put those in and scratch the ends of that shank there so that when you're putting your pin knock on, it just wrecks it. Or getting glue on here. It's just it's just terrible. <laughs> it's hard to work with. I mean, I guess um, I just like things being right and that works. All right, I know this was only a really basic thing to learn, but it's probably one of the questions that I get the most. Um, so thanks very much for your time. I hope it's helped. And um, we'll try and do something again next week. You wouldn't believe how much time and work this is for Rachel to do. So. For me to just get up here and talk is quite simple. For her to put all this together into something that can go out to you, um, it's quite a challenge. She spends like five or six hours just cutting and editing to try and make it as best as possible. So, thanks, Rach, and we'll see you maybe in a week. <laughs>